the previous video, we explored the definition of hate speech and noticed there were not yet a single concept that could include all discriminations. Whatever the definition of hate speech, the first question people tend to ask themselves is, where does it come from? How is someone led to say such awful things to another person, sometimes even before knowing the person? I often ask myself the same question and would like to explore them with you in this video. The first things that come to mind when we think about what can cause hate speech are stereotypes. Negative stereotypes are leading us to think of other groups or individuals as inferior, different and less worthy of respect. But why do negative stereotypes appear? One answer is that discrimination is part of the system of oppressions. By systems of oppression, we mean discriminatory institutions, structures and norms which are embedded in the fabric of society and justify and sustain unequal social relations. There are many such systems, including systems of racism, class, of colonialism, sexism and others. The stereotypical ideas of lower and upper class people, of indigenous and colonialist, of women and men are important parts of these systems. Some people think that our economic systems are built on unequal social relations and that stereotypes about workers and bosses are key to maintaining the system. Another part of the reason stereotypes appear is when group identity is affirmed through a distinction between us and them. For example, over the history of wars and national conflict, many such stereotypes of foreigners have been developed. Such stereotypes are ways of reinforcing the identity of a group. They are justifying giving its members a higher priority than those ones that are not part of the group. But hate speech does not always adopt explicit hateful forms. It can be implied in expressions about love, for example, the love for our country, the purity of our land, or the truth of our beliefs. These expressions can justify hate speech if they are used as ways of silencing opinions or denying different experiences, just like shouting, shut up. To sum up. Hate speech constitutes a violation of human rights and is a social phenomenon that can only be understood within the context of unequal social power relations. In power relations, stereotypes, emotions and narratives play an important role. If hate speech is unchallenged, it drives human rights abuses further. Negative stereotypes are disseminated throughout society, groups become increasingly marginalized and isolated, Discriminations are maintained, conflict and division grows, and abuse or threats increase as new boundaries are tested. Hate speech alienates, marginalizes, and undermines personal dignity, often of those who are already vulnerable in other ways. Where the target of hate speech is individualized, for example, in a sense of cyberbullying, hate speech may also violate the right to private life and can even constitute inhuman and degradating treatment. In the worst case, simple words begin to translate into physical abuse. Hate speech can lead to hate crime, engaging human rights relating to personal safety and security. Hate crime is any form of crime targeting people because of their actual or perceived belonging to a particular group. The crimes can manifest in a variety of forms. Physical and psychological intimidation, blackmail, property damage, aggression and violence, rape and even murder. Hate crimes, including genocide, are always accompanied by hate speech. Not all hate speech results in hate crimes, but hate crimes always involve hate speech. In the next video, we are going to look at examples of forms of hate speech and how do we identify hate.